and is actually coming into uh, the company I'm with now. He's driven an automatic for a while, and he doesn't know how quite to drive a 13 speed. So, and this is for him, but if you guys are trying to get into truck driving, on the way back, we'll actually, uh, I'll show you how to do the 13 speed and how to shift it. Um, you'll get to watch this and everything like, uh, like as far as the splitters, putting them forward, backwards, and you know, shifting. And I'll tell you what RPMs I'm shifting at.
that stuff. So, pretty much, we're gonna do shrimp on a skewer with um, potatoes and rice. So we got shrimp. All right, so I'm trying to figure out what I want to do next. So if you're liking this so far, go ahead and hit that like button if for another, yeah, another Walmart shopping trip. Um, also, uh, comment below if you'd like to see more of the Walmart shenanigans every week. Sounds good. So fun. Let's figure out what I want to do next. Because the thing I got, I still got chicken, so I got lunch. I think I'll go to one dinner. So we're good to go there. I bought chicken last week uh, and this week. I stopped by Walmart earlier this week and did one. Uh, and I usually try to, you know, try to crank them videos up for you guys at least a couple times a week. Uh, trying to make them, you know, do stuff like that. I look crazy in the middle of Walmart. I don't have a camera. Uh, has anybody ever seen a vlogger before? Alright, so. Sorry if I got some shaky video, I'm kind of holding the camera and won't be around at the same time. First, I'm going to go down the aisle here and get some water. Water. Water is good. So, water is like life. Water is great when you're in the truck, especially flat bedding. It's good stuff. So, we're going to reach down here. Alright, guys, uh, 32 bag of water. Alright, so, water is good. Alright, so we got the water off to get the next thing. So, I'm trying to think, I don't have enough granola, I think. Just to be on the safe side, let's go down the granola now. Alright, granola, granola, granola. I don't get any, uh, any uh, normal granola, not the ordinary granola for this guy. Yeah. So, let me take a look here. Ah, there it is. So you only get the kind of granola, like little bars that you can get, like in a big pack, like a good value pack. Um, last time I got the jar, uh, the chocolate chunk. This time I get the peanut butter. So we got that for like snacks. Snacks are good, especially that kind of snack. Let's take a look here. All right, so I got dinner, I got lunch. So I always do them wraps. Some wraps are really good. I think I might go ahead and get me another thing of wraps. So let's go find the wraps. Rap aisle for them. Not like, you know, yo yo homie. Like, not, not that kind of rap. The other kind of raps. Like the kind you eat, the kind you listen to. I think? Maybe? No, wrong aisle. Probably something So, so if you guys are paying attention for healthy eating, try to do the healthy eating like once a week. Just take more than <laughs> once a week, but. You kind of get out of the healthy shopping once a week. Alright. See? No, wrong aisle. Again, I'm looking for the bread aisle. Where is the bread aisle, guys? This one is so messed up. I'm in Kentucky this week. I swear I have it in my reset. I think I'm gonna find it. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna try. Guess I'm not gonna find it over here. Now, oh god, I gotta stop with the key now. Guys, I don't think I can find it. Ah, here we go. Here we go. I found them, I think. Well, kinda. There's the small ones. I'm looking for the multi-grain ones. And those are like the flower ones. I'm not really looking for all flower. What's the healthy stuff, Walmart? Good lord. Where are you? Where, oh where are you? Looks like I can't find it. Kind of weird. Come to a super Walmart and you'd think they have everything, but apparently they don't. Oh, but wait, what do I have here? What do I got here? I found them. So, I'm gonna pick them up. Got the multigrain with flax. I don't know if that's, yeah, it's about the right size I wanna get. Cool. So we got a snack. 
we got a little thing that we needed, so I said lunch. I got dinner already. Cool. Oh, wait, I need to get banana peppers. I forgot about that. Totally. When you're making wraps, banana peppers are like the greatest. Actually, good for you. I mean, some people don't like it, but you can put it in what you want. You, know, you can get green peppers, you can put stuff like that in there, like onions. I don't really do the onions because it gives me, uh, it actually does give me heartburn, certain types of onions. I'm not sure why, but. I think everybody's curious about the camera and what I'm doing. Not sure. No worries, everybody. No worries. Alright, so I'm going to go down the aisle where it says condiments. Where is the condiments aisle? No. I always look at the signs. Because this is a short driver thing. I'm not sure. Kind of helps you out for the most part. Where's the condiments aisle? And just most of the time I do look down the aisle just to see. It. I got my shopping done. Good to go. And uh, figured out uh, that I needed to get fresh fruit. And I got my fresh fruit. I went away to truck and put that up and then we're going to look. I'm in Lowe's. And we got uh, the Walmart shopping done. I got food in the truck. Um, Left the truck around for Mr. Elmo. So I'm trying to figure this out where I need to get the oil for my binders. I had actually had a little thing of uh, automatic transmission fluid. And trust me, that stuff is really good. But I actually want something a little less messy. So I want to go get me some, uh, I think, three-in-one. They should make a really good lube, like a um, anti-corrosion kind of stuff. That's what I'm looking for. And I can't find it. Oh, never mind. Speaking of, I found it. So this stuff, it's like a multi-purpose, it lubricates, it cleans. Yeah, like I said, no, not in any way, shape, or form. Sponsored by anybody, no product placement. But good stuff. So if you ever, you know, if you get in a flatbed and you want to take care of your equipment, you it's vital to take care of your equipment. Um, so you would actually want to get three-in-one or you could use ATF uh, to lube. What you want to do is you want to put it on like your, your thread part, like the inner thread part that goes down inside your binder on each side and between your gear, like on both sides. And you actually want to lube the ball bearing as well. So it's uh, vital that you do that. I actually have been really kicking myself in the rear this week because I have been having to use my binders and I haven't had anything to lube them with afterwards. So if they get wet, they start getting rusty. And so I got some of this. So this is what I've been looking for. And this is all I'm getting in Lowe's. Um, I'm gonna head back to the truck and then we're gonna head back to the truck stop to do our cooking. So I had a guy that's actually coming into uh, the company I'm with now. He has driven an automatic for a while. And he doesn't know how quite to drive a 13 speed. So, and this is for him. But if you guys are trying to get into truck driving on the way back, we'll actually, uh, I'll show you how to do the 13 speed and how to shift it. Um, you'll get to watch this and everything like uh, like as far as the splitters, putting them forward, backwards, and then, you know, shifting. And I'll tell you what RPMs I'm shifting at so you guys can kind of get an idea. All right, so I'm gonna start out first. Got the brakes pushed in. All right, so we're gonna go. Of course, we're still bobtail. All right. So I'm just gonna start out first. There's second, right at 1400 RPM. Third at 1400 RPM right there, and I'm floating this, of course. You can double clutch, you can do what you like, uh, as long as you get the darn thing in gear without grinding it. Alright, so start out first again. Look both ways. Alright, here we go. Of course, you see Elmo on the floor there. He doesn't move when the truck's moving, so well, I ain't gonna go that way. It doesn't look like a safe way. I try not to mess up. All right, so 1400, we went to third. 1400, go to fourth. Now we're gonna have some highway travel here too. So you're gonna see me go through all the gears and split everything you want. All right. Let's see here. He's on the phone with me right now. He's fussing at me. 
All right, 1400 in second. All right, 1400, we're in the third. I'm making my turn, of course, right now. All right. Oh, right there, perfect. I'm gonna make a left turn. And at about 900, we'll rev it to 13. Once we take it out the downshift. All right, so back first we go. We're gonna stay here at the light a little bit. It's gonna take a minute. Probably speed this part up and get the audio out. Yeah. Left side here in a red light. Yeah. I usually do. That's good too. I'll yell. So. Yeah. So. There we go. Alright, we're batting down and forth now. Now I'm gonna make this little turn here. 1400 split her up before you out and then take it out of gear and fifth. Now I'm at 1400, I'll just hit the splitter up there and then let out of it. Shift to the five high, shift it back, go to sixth, low at 1400. Alright. Perfect. Go. So we're getting to 1400, there's six high, we're going about 30 miles an hour. 1400, shift down and pre, pre select for seven low. Now we're in seventh, we're going about 40 miles an hour. I'm going to change lanes here for just a second, trying to get over. I do my look and lean method. Perfect, all right. Now we just went to seven high at 1400. So I'm going to pre-select at 1,000 RPMs. Get rid of it 200, so at 1,200 RPMs, it should downshift into 7 low. All right. Just waiting here. So I'm going to be taking the bypass here. Downshift to 1,000. Now I'm going to downshift just like in a, in a nine speed. So we're downshifting here, 1,000, we're now in the five low. You can see you just downshifted like one of those. And perfect, all right, 1,400, reselect, six low, six high, 1,400, flood out of it, get it in there at seven low, 1,400, flood out of it, and it should up shift.
folks. So, gonna do some cooking. Awesome cooking. So, now you see we have potatoes. Wash your taters, people. Wash your taters. But, I'm gonna do a little something different this time. Instead of cooking them in aluminum foil, we're gonna do, of course, I'm gonna quarter them right here. Kind of do this like, like I did last time in a way. Kind of chunk them up pretty good. But, instead of cutting them into really small, you know, little bits, nice little chunks, what I'm going to do is take them and I'm going to do it like this. Yeah? A little bit bigger from last time. So, hey, let me tuck this down here. So, you're going to do this. That you got it quartered up like this you need to grab your bell pepper so I'm going to do actually shrimp skewers all right also I'm gonna do some shrimp now this is raw shrimp like you've seen earlier in the video um, raw shrimp and I'm gonna put them on skewers so, I'm trying to get my little bell pepper here, if I can find it. Give me just a second. Alright, got your bell pepper. Yeah, it's in a bag. Boom. Get that right there. I'm going to put that aside. And what you want to do... Boom. Do that. What you want to do, is you want to get a bowl or something to put those in so you can set your potatoes aside while you're uh, cutting up your bell pepper. God, I hate that. I hate moving my dog. Get your bowl, put a bowl, and uh, stick your potatoes in them, like so. Oh, yeah. Oh. Alright, almost got them. Yeah, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be real good. Alright, alright, set those aside. Set those off camera there. Now what I do is I'll actually cut the very top off of my pepper. So there's very little waste. Shoot. I actually could probably use that. Ah, I'll use that. Wash your peppers too, people. Don't forget to wash them. Take all your stickers off. There we go. Put them in your trash bag. Of course, that's all the part of living on the road. We're gonna have that like multiple trash bags. All right, cool. Now you want to gut your little your little deal here, your uh, your pepper. So what you're gonna do is you want to cut on the inside. Just cut around, and where the seeds are at, I'm getting sprayed in the face with juice, and twist. 
and out it comes and boom there's like no seeds in there all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it in half and then I'm going to cut it in half again and then I'm going to cut it a couple more times like so all right so cut it like so boom you got yourself like little quarters little stuff that you can put on your skewers so I'll cut that in half good to go all right and then same thing with this one over here get your little seeds that little extra seeds that pop out Ugh, get those out of the way that's nasty nasty put your knife down of course another boom boom now folks this is heavy uh, very healthy eating on the road so I'm gonna cut that up in a little sections like so from earlier because remember we don't want to waste any of our bell pepper here boom all right so we got like little deals all right perfect now get you all right you got your skewers so what you'll do of course you open your skewers I got bamboo skewers from the Walmart I've had these for a little while I'm just looking for an excuse to use them so you start out with a few maybe get like a good little handful out set them to the side of course and what you want to do is you want to put on each one I put your vegetable and you want to put a few things of shrimp on it. I don't poke myself here. All right, so you got one. So it's kind of like kebabs in a way. But you don't want to put them too close together. You want to put them just spaced out enough. And you want to take out your shrimp. You want to open it here. Boom. All right, perfect. Now this is actually. Uh, with the stuff on it right it's got all your shell and everything so what you'll do is you'll actually peel your your shrimp here and you'll put that in a bowl and of course you'll end up throwing that away because you don't want to eat the shell now, if you're allergic to shellfish then you can use something else um, I actually have one viewer that is allergic to shellfish so sorry buddy you guys actually might have known you, if, if I tell you, you might know him. You've seen him in previous videos. I call him this guy. He's the uh, the guy that kind of looks like Timmy, the Timmy guy. Yeah, that guy. He was just concentrating. Don't don't get him. Don't don't get it twisted. So what you'll do is you'll take your shrimp here in the bag. All right. You take your shrimp. Boom. And you'll actually peel it. You grab it by the legs and you'll peel around. Boom, get that off, put that in there. And pinch your tail off and that should come right off. Perfect, see, there's all your, your shells gone and these are raw, uncooked shrimp because you're gonna grill them. So what I'll do is I'll probably do it like so. Put that on there like that. Put a couple more potatoes. Well, I'll do like a potato. So you'll do potato. And then a couple more pieces of shrimp so I do it as I go and so we're gonna do it like so
so I'm gonna finish the rest of these uh, skewers here and I uh, will see you at the grilling part all right folks so I got my grill preheated here I'm gonna use some Tony's today and it's the only season I'm using is my Tony's I'm not one for product placement but I do like my Tony's Tony's is awesome like I said in the last video, Tony's is amazing. So what you want to do is you want to take your skewers. I got my chicken here. I'm going to use that for my chicken wraps this week. I'm just going to do it one at a time. I'm going to kind of sprinkle it real good on each side. All right, I'm going to stick one. And I put some aluminum foil on the grill and poke holes in it. I preheated the grill. Of course, this thing is kind of getting hot on me. burning off a little bit of stuff there and I'm going to just season the rest of these like so I'm going to stick them on there one at a time I just kind of have to season all that real good all right put that on there like so that aluminum foil got high real quick but once it cools down it should be all right So finally the last ones for this little go around there we go actually I could probably fit one more I got two three there's four on there so far so I could probably do one more I have seven total just a little bit more Tony's there Perfect. That should work out good. I'm just going to leave those on there for a little bit. You might want to do it for maybe about 10, 5 or 10 minutes or so until your shrimp's cooked. Your vegetables, they could be a little bit raw. It just depends on really what you want. I don't like my vegetables too raw, so I'm going to let it cook for maybe about 10 or 15 minutes. So I'm going to speed this up here and I'll kind of let you guys see the end result. All right, folks. So I got those cooked. Looks pretty darn good. Yeah. Looks wonderful. Now, I got some leftover potatoes that I had. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Tony's. Put some Tony's on this. Just sprinkle it real good on it in the bowl. And then, just stick them on the grill. Get you a little bit of that. All right. You just stick them on the grill there. On your piece of aluminum foil, if you put your aluminum foil over your grill grate, you'll be good to go. It'll actually cook it pretty good for you. So, I'm going to wait for these to cook a little bit. So while I wait, um, I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to open my chicken, and I'm going to season that with my Tony's too. Of course, that's redneck knife. I use it for everything. I ain't afraid. I ain't scared of no dirt. I think that's pretty darn, darn good. I had to smell it just to make sure I smelled some weird stuff in the fridge earlier. But it seemed like it's alright. So that's good. Glad to, glad to see that. Oh yeah. Some tenderloins. Of course you want to sprinkle your toners on there pretty good. Like we did in the last video. Great stuff. All right, so I just wait. These are little tenderloins for your wraps. So these little tenderloins are actually really good if you cut them into little strips. Each one, like cut them in a, once you grill them up, kind of chop them up in a little bit size or whatever, and uh, you put them in your wrap. And once you put all your toppings and stuff on there, you roll it up and real good. So. I'm going to continue cooking my food. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up, like, uh, also subscribe, share with your friends. Um, don't forget to like me on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash trucker as and Twitter, uh, follow me on a tweeter, I guess it's the Twitter, I call it the tweeter. Call me on a, follow me on a tweeter thing at twitter.com forward slash trucker as So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions or you'd like to see something in a future video, don't forget to comment down below. And until next time.